Hello boys and girls and welcome to my preview of Chelsea versus Arsenal semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Now this game takes on extra significance, especially for Arsenal, as we are no longer in the FA Cup. We got embarrassed by Nottingham Forest at the weekend. So like I said, this game takes on extra significance, especially for Arsenal. Now, over the last few weeks, I've been giving you guys some ridiculous offers. And um, again, I'm going to do it for this game. Now, courtesy of Corals, we are giving you the chance for new customers an offer of 25 to 1 on there being a booking in the Chelsea v Arsenal game. Now, recent history suggests that there will definitely be a booking. There's actually been quite a lot of sendings off, but all we need is one booking, 25 to one. It's very, very simple, new customers. Um, and as a little incentive on top of that, if the bet actually loses, they'll give you five pound back in free bets. So it's a win-win situation. Now, the maximum stake is a pound. Let's be real about it. They're not gonna just let you stick hundreds and hundreds of pounds on it. It's an opening offer. Um, it's an opportunity for people that, you know, are not registered to get themselves involved, get a little incentive to come along. And um, it's easy money. It really is. Now, the unique link is in the description. Just click that, sign up, and you've got yourself involved. Also, I've got to add that you do have to be over 18 years old. And if you're gonna gamble, do it responsibly. Now, we go into the game against Chelsea, and like I said, it's taken on extra significance for us because we ain't got the FA Cup to fall back on anymore. We ain't gonna use that as a get out of jail card this year. Humiliated by Nottingham Forest. Four goals! Are you mad? Absolute bullshit performance. We can't afford to put that kind of performance in again. I'm gonna get onto the one to 11 in a moment. And um, I think he was gonna play a strong side anyway for this game, judging by his team selection on Sunday. But now, I don't think he's got any choice. He has to put a strong side out. In terms of Chelsea, again, they're gonna to wanna to get to Wembley. It's a semi-final, it's a local derby. Two legs. So there could be a bit of, you know, jostling in that first match, a bit of to and fro in, and, um, you know, teams might be a little bit on edge. But what both teams don't want is to be out of the tie before the second leg. You know, we've got the advantage of playing at home in the second leg. So it's all to play for. Chelsea will play a very strong side. I think they'll play their main side, shall I say. They rested players in the FA Cup at the weekend. And that also backfired in many respects because they drew with Norwich, but they've got a chance to put that right in a replay. Um, in terms of our 1-11, to like I said, we're gonna go strong for this game. And this is what I'm actually gonna go with. In goal, we're gonna go with David Espina. Now, I don't think Arsene Wenger's gonna change this position. Simple reason being that David Espina has always been the cup goalkeeper. In defence, we're going to stick with a back three. Now, this is where I feel that Arsene Wenger has got a few problems. Laura Koscielny is not back. There's talk that Mustafi's got to have a fitness test. Um, so we're really down to the bare bones. It's what does he decide to do? Um, Rob Holding, I felt, played against Nottingham Forest to get minutes under his belt for this kind of game. But he was awful, so does he throw him back in there? I don't think we've got any choice, to be quite honest. So the first player I'm going to throw in there is Rob Holding. He's got to start picking his performances up. He's been awful this season when he's played. Let's be honest, we had such high hopes after his performances last year. And I'm hoping that he's just going for a dip in form. But Rob Holding. Alongside him, we're going to go with Mustafi. I'm hoping he is fit for this game. He's going to be the senior guy in there. I can't have Per Mertesacker anymore. That guy should have retired last season. I said it already. The guy is slower than dial-up Wi-Fi. Don't put him in that team again. Go with Mustafi. Alongside him, we're going to go with Callum Chambers. Again, hasn't done too bad last couple of games. 
made a couple of silly decisions against Chelsea, ironically. Um, but like I said, we've got no real choice, so we're going to have to go with Callum Chambers in there. In the wing back roles, we're going to start off on the right hand side and we're going to go with Hector Bellerin. Um, let's hope that his head's in the game and not at London Fashion Week because we've all seen the photos of him parading around in pyjamas. Um, and right now, I really don't know what he'd rather be, a model or a footballer. But for this game, we're going to have to play him. Left wing back, Kalazinak is not back and ready, apparently, as far as Arsene Wenger's concerned. So we're going to have to go with Maitland-Niles, not what I would like. Um, he's not a left wing back, but needs must. We're going to have to put him in there, Maitland-Niles. In the central midfield role, first of all, we're going to go with Granit Xhaka. Again, another player that needs a fitness test beforehand. But I think that he should come through. Um, and he'll start the game, Granit Xhaka. Just in front, we're going to go with Jack Wilshere. Been the bright spark lately. The one player that you can kind of look at and go, thank God we've got him. Um, and we need him for this game. He's going to have to put another big performance in. Pretty self-explanatory, Jack Wilshere in there. Just in front, we're going to go with Mesut Ozil. Again, another bright spark in the team. One of the players that's carrying everyone right now. Um, and this is the kind of game where Mesut has to turn up. Big game, big, big game. So hopefully he thrives on the occasion, Meza Ozil. First of the attackers, we're going to go with Alexis Sanchez. Now it looks very much like he's gone. Um, he's on his way to Man City. But Arsene Wenger has said in his press conference that Alexis is in the squad for this game. If he's not a Man City player by the time we play Chelsea, play him. He's an Arsenal player. He gets paid wages. Put him out there. Very simple, Alexis Sanchez. As the main striker, we're going to go with Alexandre Lacazette. Now, I've been really impressed with his overall play lately, his link-up play, the way he's passing and moving. But he needs to start scoring. That is the final thing that he needs to start doing now. He's going for a bit of a drought, and he needs to put the ball in the back of the net. This is the perfect time. Um, and yeah, he needs to, like I said, just start putting the ball in the back of the net. His overall play, I've got no problems with. It's just scoring. He's a striker. He has to start doing that. But that's what I'm going to go with, Alexandra Lacazette. So that's it. That is the predicted 1-11. to 11. You need to let me know in the comments section whether you agree with that. What would you change? To be quite honest, I wouldn't really change much else. No one else that played on Sunday really deserves to be in the team. The likes of Maitland-Niles and, of course, Rob Holding gets in there. But that's down more to needs must. Everyone else... Doesn't deserve a chance. Not Danny Welbeck, not Theo Walcott, none of them. Simple as that, really. Now, like I said earlier on, get yourself involved with the unique link courtesy of Corals. 25 to 1 on there being a booking in this game. It'll probably end up being Granite Shaka or Jack Wilshire who gets the first one, but someone will get a booking. Like I said, link is in the description. Get yourself involved. Over to you lot now, Arsenal. There's a place at Wembley at stake. How much do you really want it? We'll find out.